Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss how Tableau interface looks like, how to connect with Excel file and data preparation phase. Okay, so without any further delay, let's get started. I am using Tableau desktop version for this course. When whenever we open Tableau desktop, this is how Tableau looks like. There are various options available to, to connect with the data source. You can you can connect with Tableau server if the data is available on the Tableau server. You can connect with Excel file, text file, or you can say CSV file, JSON file, PDF, or many more. Okay, and there is one more option to connect with the server. There are various uh, option available to connect with the server as you can see. Like we can connect with Azure, we can we can connect with with Google data sources. We can connect with uh, Impala and uh, PostgreSQL, Oracle, Spark, Snowflake, we can connect with the many server. Okay. And if you are using Tableau desktop, the sample data Superstone is, uh, is already available. If you are using Tableau public, then you need to download it from the internet. Okay. I will provide the link to download this data source. Okay. Let's connect with this data source. Whenever we connect with the data source, this is how it look like it comes to data pre data preparation phase. Okay, let's drag our table. There are various options available in the data preparation phase. We will discuss one by one. Let's start with data interpreter. Data interpreter is used to clean your data sources as you can uh, see here also data interpreter might be able to clean your microsoft excel workbook okay but i don't recommend uh, to use data interpreter all time because uh, uh, when we use data interpreter it it removes the null value or which might be uh, required in in our worksheet okay so uh, with with the data interpreter there is a, there is a chance to lose your data okay so only use data interpreter when you are fully aware about the data okay and uh, so if there is a, a wrong name for any field we can rename it by using rename function so there is a order id and we want is order underscore id okay so we can rename it as you can see it is renamed here okay and the previous name we can use the reset name okay as you can see here suppose uh, if if we don't want customer id and the shipment mode okay in our final data source so we can do it we can hide that okay Then what is the benefit of use the hide? It will help to increase the performance of the dashboard. Okay, because we are using less data. Okay, and if we need uh, these fields again, we can click here and show hidden fields, and we can unhide them. Okay, as you can see, these are available in the data source again. Next is create calculated field. Okay, we can create a calculated field based on these suppose we need shipment mode is equal to second class okay second class shipment mode apply as you can see there is one more uh, column is connected here which shows all the values for second class okay and there is uh, one uh, one of the important part is split and the custom split suppose uh, we have a full name and we want a column of uh, first name and the last name then we can go for 
split and the custom split so what is the difference between split and the custom split so in the custom split we can define our separator and and we can define how many columns we want from the split okay let's do both one by one i'm using first split so we have splitted customer name we can go to down as you can see this is first name we can rename it first name and let's rename this also last name okay so this is use of split suppose uh, we there is a full name column full name full name means first name and the last name we only need first name okay so we will define our separator in the custom field and we and and split off is first and we need only one column okay then click on okay drag as you can see we only got first name okay there is one more field that is describe which which gives the on the details about a specific field like is it dimension is it major we will discuss dimension and major in the upcoming videos what is the type and uh, is there any null value or not how many uh, what is the column width and and what is the and which all of uh, and all the members of these fields okay and we can add filters also this this filters is uh, help us to increase the performance of the red dashboard suppose we want the data only for row 1 okay row id 1 select row id and we want suppose we need data for 1 2 3 4 and 5 then click on okay and okay so as you can see we only get data for 1 2 3 4 5 okay so uh, this is also called data source filter because we are applying this filter only on data source okay we will discuss live versus extract in the upcoming videos until then stay tuned thank you so much